Hello guys, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be working with a new message and searching functionality. So I will come over here and search for a user, Destiny, and click on the search button that's going to be here. It's going to take us to another page and it's going to bring out all the whole user that has the name of Destiny. And we're going to send them a message or we can follow them or do whatever we want to do with them. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started with it already. already. Now, what we want to do is simply head over to our views.py and we need to import a couple things. For example, we need to import paginator so we're gonna say from django.core dot not country but dot core dot paginator we want to import paginator and we also want to say from django dot db dot models dot models we want to import um q okay so from django.db.models import queue from django.core.paginator import paginator. Okay, that's all we need. Now let's go ahead and create the, the function. So we're going to say define, let's say user search or something. You can name it whatever you want. And we're going to pass in a request just like that. And we also need to come over here and query. So we're going to say query should be equal to request.user.get and we are simply gonna pass in a queue over there okay and we're gonna say context should be equal to an empty context for now now we need to say if query so if there is actually a query now what we want to do is simply get users and we're gonna say user dot object dot filter so we are not getting a particular user but we are getting all the whole user that has a particular query that's matched then we're getting them by username underscore underscore i contains okay then this is going to be equal to query so hopefully you guys know what's going on here. Well, what we're simply doing is check if there is actually a query. So when we search for dest, if there is a user with the name DEST or it's in their name, it's contained in their name, what we want to do is simply get the user and we're going to be filtering them by the check by the username. So we want to filter by first name or last name, we'll be filtering by username. So for example, this is Karen over here. This is Karen. But when I search Balda, I'm not even going to see her. I'm just going to see someone else that has an, a username of Balda. So I search Karen. And note, you can also do a lot of um, a lot of query. You can, you can change this to maybe first name or whatever you want or even user. But my own, I want to use username that I contains. Okay. So after this, the next thing we're going to do is simply go ahead and create a paginator. So if there is something like that, so I'm going to create a paginator, paginator. Okay. And I'm going to say paginator should be equal to paginator and we want to paginate the users by eight so at a time we're going to be getting just eight so when we search for destiny and let's say we have 125 people with the name of destiny we're going to display them in the sections of eight okay so that's what we're doing over there then after this the next thing we want to do is page underscore number and this is going to be equal to request dot get dot get and we are gonna get the page so this page over here we're gonna get it okay that's a method and after that we need to get the users underscore paginator okay so this is gonna be equal to paginator that we defined above paginator this one over here dot get underscore page that's a method and we're gonna pass in the page number that we defined so that's pretty much what we want to do now let's just go ahead and define the context for this i'm gonna say context should be equal to um we could pass in user let me just come over here and copy one of the context and also the template i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna get rid of this and i'll paste this in here rearrange this the way it should be okay get rid of this rearrange it Get rid of that put it there okay so this template is going to be called search.html and we're going to pass in users so we're going to pass in users and what else should we pass in i think we should pass in user paginator instead okay or it can still be user so i'm going to get rid of this i think that's all we need to pass in for now so after I pass in this 
two things now we need to go ahead and create a url so creating a url isn't difficult we just simply need to come over to the urls.py we need to duplicate this and we're gonna call this one new okay then we're gonna call the user search guess that's what i named it and this one over here should be let's just say user search too so, okay user dash search so that should be it now after this we need to help over to direct the html and we need to um let's see okay so what we need to do is simply either make this a button that's gonna redirect us to the to the search user page so i'm simply gonna do that that should be way more easier for us for now so i'm gonna say search that's it over there but instead we, sh we can just change this to submit okay or uh, let's let's just make this a link instead this is the class i'm gonna make this a, a link from here make it a link and let's try passing in this class let's see if anything happens i'm gonna be like new message let's see okay nothing is showing up yet let's come over to slash um slash direct slash destiny okay as you can see we've got new message over here we also need to do the same thing in the in the in the inbox.html so when we've done this let's see how about we add some like btn over here and we say i'm like btn dash success okay that's way more better but it's looking so ugly let's add a margin top one it brings it down a bit let's say four Okay, that's better. Let's also add a margin bottom of four. Okay, this is this is way more better. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it should be shadow. Okay, this is bootstrap for that. It's not gonna work. So this is a link. Now, what we simply want to do is when we click on this link, we want to go to the view that we created that's gonna help us search for users. So we need to put it in this place. We're going to open up a URL template tag just like this. And we're going to pass in what we, what we want to pass in here is user dash search. You remember that's what we called it. Now I'm going to come over here and refresh, click on this. Now, what do you notice? It takes us to somewhere else. Okay. But no, this is not, this is an error instead. So it says user object has no attribute get. Okay. This is it over here. I think that should be an error. Let's head back to the views line 63 line 63 so what we added there was request dot user dot get i don't think that's what we need so what we were supposed to add should be request dot get dot get so now when we refresh this you see it's actually showing up something but i think there there is an error over here it says the view blah 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 then return a HTTP response it return a none instead so we encountered this error in the last video now we're gonna go ahead and fix it guys okay, so the best way to fix this error is um simply heading back to the views and it's definitely a return render error so as you can see this is in here that means it's not returning any view so what we need to do is just push it back once and when we refresh this now let's see as you can see it's not working but we need to create the template search.html so we're going to create a new template and we're going to call it search.html in the direct new file and i'm going to call this search.html so right now when we refresh this you see that we now have a blank page meaning that it's working perfectly well so we need to get a template for this and i told you guys i already have the template all built out you can just simply get this template by following the link in the description below i'm hoping over to my github it's there for you so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the template and come and paste it in here so let, let me just go ahead and do that already okay guys so as you can see this is what the template looks like um, pretty ugly not fine but at least the functionality is working perfectly well but when we come over here and search for destiny and click search nothing is showing up let's search for Karen and click search nothing is showing up so this is just a dummy dummy text nothing is actually showing up there so how about we want to um, make this work so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and so we need to go ahead and run a for loop now so you can see over here is the search form and over here is where the for loop is going to be okay so in order to, in order to run the for loop it's going to be in here we're going to say 
we need to say for user in users you remember that's what we call this in the view over here users so we're gonna say for user in users and we need to add it off over here we're gonna say and for okay now let's refresh this and let me try doing something like D and okay we are not gonna see anything yet but how about we say for user in users and now we want to try we want to start putting in the users information so instead of putting in this image we're gonna put something like um i'm gonna put some like take this out and i'm gonna say user dot dot profile dot picture or i think i called it image the url okay so what can you see you can see destiny let me clear out this so you see that we're actually getting what we want so nothing is showing up how about i search for karen and I search now you can see Karen so it's working perfectly well how about I search for RE then you can see Rex so but nothing is showing up over here okay so um, we need to go ahead and work with the name and the username and the view profile so everything works fine so for this desk for the destiny Franks over here I'm simply gonna use something like this too and I'm gonna replace this I'm gonna say user the profile does first underscore underscore name just like that and it's, it's can see current over there and I need to also copy this and paste it in here and this one is gonna be last underscore name okay there should be a dot over here now we can see Karen Bowser and for the username also we need to paste this and say user dot let's just say user dot username okay as you can see we've got Karen and we've got rex over here so how about as you can see rex doesn't have a, a profile picture yet and and also he doesn't have a name so how about if a user doesn't have a name let's give them like a costume name so in that case what we're simply gonna say is if user dot profile dot profile dot first underscore name is equal to false or we can say something like if not you understand then we want to do something so if they don't have a, a first name and that means they don't also have a last name so we're gonna say else is equal to true brother so over here this way we're gonna do the else so we're gonna say else and we need to end if and if okay let's make sure this is on a straight line and over here if the user doesn't have a name we want to say something like Instagram user okay now when we refresh as you can see this is instagram user this is instagram user so we need to make this work so if user dot profile dot first name is equal to true i want to i want to display this but how about it false so um how about we just get rid of this true over here now let's see okay so we can also query it by saying if user dot profile dot first name that means it's true then we're gonna do this else we we're gonna put in instagram user so also for the picture we can also do the same thing we can say something like if um user dot profile dot image then we want to put this one but how about if the user doesn't have a profile image then we can go ahead and give them a a default image okay so i'm gonna put this in here and i'm gonna say end if so um if the user doesn't have a, an image let's say something like default let's see so as you can see to be working now we need to get rid of this and we need to put a template tag and we need to pass in static and i'm gonna get the the specific image url because right now i don't actually know where we've got it so i'm just gonna grab a specific image image and i'm gonna put it in here just like this get rid of this close this off and i'm gonna put them um, in there okay so now when we refresh this nothing is showing up that's because when we convert assets one there's nothing like the default p jpg so in static assets one we haven't got anything like default so it's default hyphen user okay default hyphen user dot jpg okay not still showing up okay png rather let's see 
okay as you can see it's now showing up so i think that's what we need and also for the view profile what you simply want to do is come over here and make sure you add a template tag profile user.username so that when we click on this it's going to take us to rex profile but you remember rex doesn't have a profile yet that's why he doesn't even have a first name but how about we click on karen as you can see it takes us to karen and over here this is where we want to configure the send message functionality okay but let's go ahead and see destiny it shows up destiny we click on this we don't see any message because that's our account but karen as you can see um let me search we've got karen we click on this now let's work on this message functionality okay so we are gonna head back to the profile.html so we're gonna look for the profile.html and we need to look for message this is it over here now in here we want to pass in uh url and this one is going to be send message okay like that and also what we need to pass in is so we pass in send message and i want to pass in profile dot user let's see when we refresh this okay it says reverse for send message with argument not found okay that's not that thing there is nothing like that in the urls um we've got this over here okay i think we need to manually create it for them okay hopefully you guys understand we need to manually create it so um i'm simply gonna gonna just i'm, I'm gonna leave here now and we're gonna create a new function that's gonna help us actually send the message so for now this place is gonna be as blank as this but hopefully you guys understood something from the from the search let me head back to the inbox and show you guys again so we're gonna come over to messages and we're gonna come over to direct slash destiny and now when we click on new message we can search for somebody we can search for Karen and when we search just like Instagram it will load it load them up and we can click on this and send them a message so in, in the next video we're gonna go ahead and work the, with this message so that when we click on it it's now gonna take us to the place where we're gonna send the message just like this like this okay so hopefully you guys understand what's going on in the next video we're gonna go ahead and work with the main functionality and we're gonna be rounding it off there for for the messaging functionality i hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked it if you did not forget to drop a like consider subscribing and also drop a comment if you have any issue i hope i'll see you guys in the next video for now stay safe and mad love peace out